Name something you've tried that you'll never try again. Adam Collard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Kendall. And we're here with Digital Spy and we're going to play Give Me Some Flack. You ready? Yeah, go on. Open that coconut. Oh, that was easy. Mm, that was easy. Did you know any of this year's Islanders? <gasps> yes, I did actually. So, Molly May, she's a social media influencer, that's mm -hmm. what she did as a job. I actually went on a uh, social media influencer trip with her at the beginning of the year. So I went yeah. to Dubai with her at the beginning of this year. That was the first time I'd met her. I think I used to, I think I slid into her DMs once. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> and then I think we were chatting on like WhatsApp. Were but you? yeah, but like nothing ever happens. And Tommy, I'm not interested. Just <laughs> right so it's all good. How it's do you all know I know. Um, but yeah, no, that's, you know, nothing happened. And Tommy, don't beat me up. She's all yours. Uh, who is the most famous number you have on your phone? Ooh. What? I don't actually know. I don't have that many famous people. No. Mine. Oh, go on. It's probably example the art like really? the yeah, the artist because I did a remix for one of his songs, so we were messaging and we had to like we were voice noting about how the song would how the remix would go, and he was like That's so interesting. He's a bit of a legend. I, he's like a music legend. So oh, that's, that's a my, really good one. That's probably my one. How often did you get to leave the Love Island villa? Once. No, did you leave? Once, yeah, but not for like. So that, I, we, I read something that like you get to go to the beach and have some fun. Yeah. It wasn't for fun. It was yeah. to go into Castle Moor. That's why we yeah. left. That's the only time. What's your party trick? Um. Oh, I can touch my nose with my tongue. Go on. Then. You, got, you have to do it. Yeah. I didn't know you do this. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. How many Love Island catchphrases can you say in 20 seconds? Oh, right. We'll do it together. As many Love Island catchphrases in 20 seconds. Go. It is what it is. Um, I've got text. Loyal. Eggs in basket, loyal. Um, oh, oh, um, DBS. Oh, yeah. Oh, my What's gosh, the other one? this is so Oh, hard. are you bantering? Yeah. What's the other one they did? Um, oh, my God, this is actually so Oh, Ovi, when you see the message. Yeah, we'll have that. Okay. I've got text. Is that it? No, I said I've got a text. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, so we only got seven. Oh, that was pathetic. What other ones are there? My type on paper. My type on paper is a good one. Sick. Ah, Fanny Flutters. <laughs> My nana goes mad. Dick it. Sand. Do you remember that one? Oh yeah, Olivia that was Atwood. Olivia Atwood. That was brilliant. Okay. You're hosting a dinner party and you can yeah. invite three Love Island stars. Who do you choose? <gasps> Ooh, right. Okay. From the very first series, she's called Hannah Elizabeth. She's a Scouse girl. Ah. Oh yeah. my goodness, the I've funniest met person I've ever met. She's I met lovely. her in Ibiza the other day, so definitely her. You're getting like the like um, one of all stars coming around. Yeah. Okay, cool. Olivia Atwood, because I just want someone to have a drink, have yeah. fun, liven the party up a bit. She's hilarious. And Kim. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I need a boy. Yeah, I need a boy. Um, yeah, Kem, there you go. There you go. What happened in the first 24 hours after leaving Love Island? Cry. No, I'm nah. I didn't cry. You like, Actually, you no, like I probably did. Yeah, I cried did. all the time. Yeah, you did a lot of crying, didn't you? Name something you've tried that you'll never try again. Adam Collard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to change his answer. Adam. Yeah. <laughs> What's yours? Um, George Steele. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, okay. let's we'll guys. We love you, really. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all fun, isn't it? Do you think any of the 2019 Islanders went on there for love? Yes, Amy. 100%. Oh, flipping out, yeah, she definitely did. 100%. Maybe they didn't fully to start with and they've sort of, they've then mm. got caught up in it and actually start to open up. I would and like it, and then to you... say all of them, but... Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, they're all single. Do you think anyone on this year's Love Island is playing a game? I mean, I definitely did to start with. Who? Curtis was to start with. Did you? Yeah. Maybe Joe and Lucy a little bit because they sort of like got really like, oh, we're being together forever, yeah. like for the first week. Yeah. Do you, I... do you remember they were like, kind of like, oh, this, this is gonna, and then it just all went wrong. I thought Maura was playing a game, but do you know what? Maura can do whatever she wants because Love Island didn't start until Maura tipped off. This is off. true. She is TV gold, so 
I don't care if Maura's playing a game or not, I just like watching her. Yeah. No, now she really wants to find someone. Yeah, I think they all do tell. now. tell. Like, she genuinely does. But Love Island is a bit of a game. Love is a game. You know? Oh, for <laughs> sake. What do you think the most shocking moment from the current Love Island series so far? Ooh, the most shocking moment. <gasps> when Amber walked back in and Michael was coupled up with Joanna. Last blue tick that followed you on social media. I actually think mine may have been Amy. Oh, oh yeah. Because I, I, think mine might I, have been. I commented on her post saying like she's out of the villa and stuff, and I think I just said well done. And I think she just followed me back from that. Aww. So cheers, Amy. That's and cute. well done again. Yeah, maybe mine was one of the new yeah. Islanders. Maybe like Sharif or Sharif. <laughs> what was your Love Island casting process like? Okay, so I'm going to tell you a secret. I actually applied for Love Island in my mum's kitchen at about five in the morning. I was crying, having a meltdown. Are you drunk? About my ex. No, I don't oh. actually think I was drunk. No. I just couldn't sleep. Um, so I was like, sod it, I'm going to apply for Love Island. I need to find someone. What a thing to do when you can't sleep. And I always I, get a glass of milk. Yeah, <laughs> no, I sat and did my application online in my mum's kitchen. And when through the whole audition process. It took me yeah. forever, literally. I went to like group interviews, single interviews, I sent off videos of me on Blackpool Prom. Whole, whole production. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Mine was like, I was gonna go on another show. Oh, okay. You applied for a different show but got Love Island. I I think I got approached for, cause I was into my fitness and gym and stuff like that, and I was gonna go on a show called Survival of the Fittest. Oh. And then I was gonna go on and then it didn't happen. and. It was still with ITV, Ooh. I think. And then they said, do you want to audition for that? I still did the audition process again. It wasn't yeah. like, oh, we didn't put you on this one. So Both you just hand -picked. Yeah, I think the producers are really good at making sure that, you know, you are going to be the right person yeah. to go on. Like, it's not like, we like the look of you. You look nice, you're on, oh. isn't it? It's like, yeah, you have to no. do so many. I don't, I haven't met or spoke to anyone that's ever not been through like numerous auditions, auditions and yeah. it's a Same. long process and it took forever. Who was the last person to slide into your DMs? <laughs> you! <laughs> <laughs> I mean mine, mine is you as well it's really. It's because we dagged each other in a story. You. And then the one down from that so mine's Jack, he replied to a story so. Mine's Ellie Brown. Oh no it's not. Oh. Oh. Don't oh. Oh. On it. Oh. <laughs> Actually, so it's, it's me, and then but after that, it's a reply to Kendall's story. Drinks? Question mark. Are you going for drinks? The 2019 Islanders, snog, marry, or avoid? You go first. <laughs> I'd snog Maura. I would... I'll marry Amy, because she seems that she'd really look after me. <laughs> what, she cook and clean? It'd be a really nice life. Um, so I'm just, just going to marry Amy. And I'm going to avoid Molly because Tommy's really muscly and he's a boxer. <laughs> so I'm going to stay away from her. Okay, I would snog Ovi because he's hot. Mm -hmm. I would marry... I think I'd marry Tommy just because he is the sweetest person ever. You just know he'd look after you. Mm. He'd be a bodyguard at the same time. So you don't think he's like going to be a player? He's going to be... No, I think yeah. he seems like really loyal. That's good. Um, and then avoid... Well, Curtis, because he jumped shit with, after Amy, so I'd avoid him. Fair enough. Most... What's your most active WhatsApp group on your phone? I've got one with Alex, Dr. Alex, Jack oh, Fincham and Adam. It was actually really interesting because I, for the first time I I got like a really bad fever. And I was like, I had like cold sweats and I was really hot and blah, blah, blah. And I was, but I was traveling quite a lot and I was in like, different countries and I thought, I don't really want to go to like a foreign doctor. Dr. Alex! So for, for the first time, like I've been able to use, like I've never had a doctor friend. So I voice noted him a really light, long voice. And I was like, I've got fever, I can't move. Like what's wrong with me? Or, I've got like cold sweats. <laughs> and he like gave me a like full one back. Yeah. And he was going back and forth. And he recommended me, like, recommended me a doctor abroad, like where I was. It was like, oh my yeah, goodness. it was amazing. Do you remember, I remember actually taking advantage of that in Villa. Yeah. But I had like a paper cut or something. And I was like, no, don't know, it's something. I'm gonna yeah, die. everyone took advantage. I remember like one of the girls had like spots in her bum and she was like, oh, who was that? I can't no, remember. Actually, don't say. I can't remember. I was like, do you want me to check out? No. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I'll do my advice. Who did you last snog? Just a, a girl I know. Mine's just 
a guy. A guy you know. Who <laughs> kicks a football for a living. Oh. He's quite nice. <laughs> okay, exclusive. Well, Premier That's League. Oh wow, the guy. Premier Come League. On. Premier League. Come no, on. tell me what division. Premier uh, League. The one below. Championship. Yeah. Blackpool. No. Oh. Come on. What position? Left back. Left back. Oh, I actually know that. Well done. Wow. It'll be, it'll be impressive. Taken, he's I've taken interest. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the best series of Love Island so far? S series two. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry, our series. Sorry, this one. But I think we can't. Well, I mean, like, because you can't say how long because we're in it. So, like, as a viewer, I completely agree with you. I think series two. I think it's really, really funny. That's it. But Kendall did snog a football player, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sake, Sam. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.